Hi there, my name is Nenat and I'm here to show you how to connect two computers uh, using the LAN cable or the internet cable and uh, transfer files that will probably take you much time using a uh, normal USB. So, what you have to do is uh, have two computers uh, whether they are a computer and a laptop, uh, two laptops or two computers and the only thing necessary is this cable the internet cable so when you have this you will just follow my steps now and uh, I will first write for you and then I will show you uh, how it should be done So basically what we have to do is, here is the laptop, here is the wire, we just put the wire inside, see, and here is the other computer, so we just put, and that's all. Now we are going just to set the programs and that should be the end of it. It's a, a simple process, it's a fast process, but uh, if you don't follow the instruction, it can get a bit tricky. So hang on. Okay, so we are back. So basically, what you have to do is this. You either go from uh, start uh, and uh, to control panel, you go to your network and internet, and uh, you go to network and sharing center and then you have here the third line says change advanced sharing settings you go there you place it for both home and public you have uh, do it first with public turn on network discovery turn on file and printer sharing turn on sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files Turn off password protected sharing. Also, you, you will do this with a home or, or work. Turn on network discovery, turn on file and printer sharing. And turn off password protected sharing. Okay, save changes. 
Now you go to the change adapter settings. You have the, your local area connection, the first icon. You can see it. It's not. It's not the wireless. You go properties, and you will find the Internet Protocol version four. Double click on that. You will set use the following IP address. And now, this is now the let's say tricky part. You write one nine two one six. One six eight one, and if you, if it's and you you pick a number. For example, I want uh, this to be my uh, second computer, so I'll put three. The subnet masks are the normal ones: two five five two five five two five five zero, and the default uh, gateway is one nine two one six eight one, and now you put one. So the IP address and the default gateway, uh, gateway are the same. Just the last number is uh, for IP address is three, and for the gateway is one. You will do the same thing with uh, the other computer, uh, but in that case, in the IP address you will write one one, and in the default gateway you will put one three. So the opposite from the first computer, the first and the third line, the IP address and the default gateway should be the opposite and that's all you go now okay we'll show you the other computer as well give me a second okay so we have sorry this is the other step open network and sharing change advanced sharing public turn on turn on turn on turn off password protected that was for public now for network for home network turn on turn on turn on and turn off password protected sharing save changes yes Change adapter settings, local area connection, properties. Ah, sorry. Uh, Internet protocol version 4. Double click. Use the following IP address. So, same as the first computer. 192.168.1. And now, because on the first it was 3, it's 1. And in the bottom. 192.168.1 one, and because the first computer was 3 you put here 3 in the middle just click 1 and it will show its own 255.255.255 ok so that should be it now the last command you need to do is you go to start you go to run and you write this this one so you should write the same as I wrote. Uh, the, the two narrow towards left lines. 192, 168, 1 and 3. That's the path for the first computer used. You go OK. And you wait a little. And that's it. You are good to go. So basically, this is what you get after you do the run. You will get your computer opened, the other computer. You see user share, and now, in my case, I have Yankovic. I have the desktop, and this is my folder. It's 120 or 160 gigabytes. So that took me like uh, five hours to transfer. Uh, maybe you'll get lucky and you'll have it transferred for less. But basically that's that. You just take it and move it to your desktop or wherever you want. So the let's say important thing is uh, the folder you want to share uh, from the computer you want to share it from. 
to have that your trans uh, your files transfer you just uh, left click it properties uh, uh, sorry uh, you just left click it and uh, use the share option which I don't have at the moment because this is not my builder. okay so basically uh, let's say this ah, here left click share with specific people everyone add read and write share this will take may take a few minutes done and you're set to go okay now i will write it down so you can see it again